Hi, my name is Kaylee Spear and I'm with Virtual Public Relations. Today I'm kind of going to give you a basic how-to tutorial on Google Plus communities. I'll first be going over how to do on personal account and also how to join communities as a business page instead of just your personal account. So let's get started. Now the nice part is it's really easy to find. You just click here, you know, if you're on home profile, whatever, go up here and you can click on communities. Simple as that. Now when I'm pulling up these communities, these are my personal communities that I'm a part of. So, you know, I'm part of mommy bloggers, social media marketing, Google, small business community, because, you know, that's what I fall into. But I'm also personal ones like parenting, working moms, anxiety support, stuff like that. So, you know, that's personal stuff for me that I like, but also stuff where I can promote my posts and, and business insights if I choose to. I have that option there for my personal account, which I do like. Just the nice part about this is if you go, you know, Google's really good about this. You don't see only personal ones on this part, but I'll show you um, one from a client so you can get a better idea of what it looks like for a business page. I'll show you discover communities and just kind of give you a good, um, good idea of, oh, this is stuff that you looked at and are interested in. Check it out. So just so you know, it's easy. It's really easy to find communities. And you can always click here and search, like, if I want to look up. Google Plus, I'll enter it. And there's all this stuff. Google Plus Pro Tips, Google Plus for Small Businesses. I'm actually going to join that one while I'm here. And this is a good way to do it. So you can join from there, or you can go to the group, and you'll have a little tab up here that allows you to join as well. So if you want to get by idea of the group first, which as a business, always go to read it before you join it. Um, you can read about the community. So this is Google Plus for small businesses. And I'll let you know if you're allowed to, you know, then I'll, almost all of them, especially ones with a significant following. So this one has a little over 14,000 members. That's a good number. You'll keep going down. You come up here. Oh, and this one's actually really good. So it's like, you don't just come announce your promotional leave. You build up a rapport. So just understand that. Okay, so you keep going through, and you, know, you see all these questions, you see all these statements, the new game changer. Alright, so, cool thing right here, so you can go ahead and, so I'm going to go ahead and plus one that, because that's a great question to ask. Oh, cool, there's free training, click that, so you know, you can recommend it, you can share it different things that you like. It's really nice. So it's a fun way for you if you're developing your own personal brand. Personal is the way to go. But let's show you how to do it with a business now. So in order to do that, I'll go to the pages that I'm managing. So click on pages. And we'll do this one. So manage this page. Now understand, and you should probably notice if you manage a page. But once you manage a page, you are now acting as that page. You are not connected to your personal account as well once you click that button. So when I go to communities, I'm looking at the communities the page is a part of, not me anymore. So this one, it's all focused on Pinterest marketing, Pinterest for business. So obviously most of the communities I've joined on behalf of the page is, you know, Pinterest, Pinterest marketing, Pinterest marketing power, you know, all marketing. But then you'll see these random ones over here. It's like food, bloggers, nonprofit, crowd vending. Let me explain why with that one real quick. This one, we had blog posts specifically from a food blogger and the one about using Pinterest for nonprofits. So, you know, I, I joined smaller groups like this where we have topics on our blog more often than not. So that way I can go ahead and add I'm already part of the group. I've already kind of built up a rapport in some ways. So, you know, it's okay to be part of smaller groups. I'm not a big fan of, okay, join, share my content, now leave. You want to stay on for a little while and try to interact a bit so people will go look at your posts more. Just FYI on that one. But you know, and then you see here the Discover communities on my page are completely different. Completely different than on my personal. So just keep that in mind. And then you know, same thing. If I'm going to Pinterest or Pinterest Marketing Power, whatever it is, anything that I recommend or share will be going on my business page, not my personal page. So yeah, fun stuff there. Yeah, communities are as simple as that. It's really fun to interact and keep going. You'll get a lot of um, recommendations and potentially shares, which is really nice. The more specific you are and the more you tend to interact with the blog, don't be spamming about. Don't be spamming, of course, but the, and don't just recommend for the sake of recommending. Put some thought into it. Um, but yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but once you build up 
uh, rapport in a good community, knowing that, okay, this person shares legitimate content, they're not just spamming, then it actually creates a lot of benefits for your company and pushing your brand identity and um, out there. So yeah, thank you for watching this. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to comment and go to my website at virtual-pr.com. Thank you.